Manneham Shri Guru Shri Atha Parakamlam Shri Guru Vaishnavam Sya Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Sagana Raganatam Vitam Tam Sajibam Sadvaitam Savadutam Parijana Saitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Paran Sahagana Lalita Shivishkam Vitam Sya Om Ajnana Timaranda Shagana Jana Shalakaya Chakshurun militam yinat hasmai shi gurave nama Gurva bishtam supurakam gurganara si shasambu shitam Chintya chintya samasta veda nipanam shi rupa patanagam Govindam vidam ujhvalam varatanum bhaktyan vidam sundaram Bande vishwa gurunsha divyad bhagavad prem nawe bijapranam Devam divyad tanum suchandabana nam balarka chelan shitam Sandra Nanda Puram Sadeka Varanam Vairagya Vidyambodim Sri Siddhanta Nidhim Subhakti Lasitam Sarasatanam Varam Bandaitam Shubaram Maraka Sharanam Nyashi Swarashi Dharam Mansha Kopatarubya Shakripa Sindhu Bhyevacha Patita Nam Pavenibyo Vaishnava Bhyonamonama Namo Mahamaranyaya Krishna Prema Pradayate Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namane Gaurati Vishenama We're hearing from Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita by Srila Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami with translation and commentary by Srila Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. This is Adi Lila Chapter 5, The Glories of Lord Nityananda Balaram. This chapter is chiefly devoted to describing the essential nature and glories of Sri Nityananda Prabhu. Lord Sri Krishna is the absolute personality of Godhead and his first expansion in a form for pastimes is Sri Balaram. Beyond the limitation of the material world is the spiritual sky, Paravyoma, which has many spiritual planets, the supreme of which is called Krishna Loka. Krishna Loka, the abode of Krishna, has three divisions which are known as Dharaka, Mathura, and Gokula. In that abode, the personality of God it expands himself into four plenary portions, Krishna, Balaram, Pradyumna, the transcendental Cupid, and Aniruddha. They are known as the original quadruple forms. So. In that abode, the personality of Godhead expands himself into four plenary portions, Krishna, Balaram, Pradyumna, the, the transcendental Cupid, and Aniruddha. They are known as the original quadruple forms. In Krishna Loka is a transcendental place known as Svetadvip, or Vrindavan. Below Krishna Loka, in the spiritual sky, are the Vaikuntha planets. On each Vaikuntha planet, a four-handed Narayan expanded from the first quadruple manifestation is present. The personality of God is known as Sri Balaram in Krishna Loka is the original Shankarshan, attracting deity. And from this Shankarshan expands another Shankarshan called Maha Shankarshan, who resides in one of the Vaikuntha planets. By his internal potency, Maha Shankarshan maintains the transcendental existence of all the planets in the spiritual sky. Uh, where all the living beings are eternally liberated souls. So, by his internal potency, Ma Shankarshan uh, maintains the transcendental existence of all the planets in the spiritual sky where all the living beings are eternally liberated souls. The influence of the material energy is conspicuous there by its absence. On those planets, the second quadruple manifestation is present. Outside of the Vaikuntha planets is the impersonal manifestation of Sri Krishna, which is known as Brahmaloka. On the other side of Brahmaloka is, is the spiritual Karana Samudra, or causal ocean. The material energy exists on the other side of the causal ocean without touching it. In the causal ocean is Mahavishnu, the original Purusha expansion from, from Shankarshan. Mahavishnu places his, his glance over the material energy and by a reflection of his transcendental body, he amalgamates himself within the material elements. As the source, <coughs> so that's Mahavishnu. 
is the source of the material elements. The material energy is known as Pradhan and is the source of the manifestations uh, and it's the source of the manifestations in the material energy, it is known as maya. So, as the source of the material elements, the material energy is known as pradhan. And as the source of the manifestations of the material energy, it is known as maya. But material nature is inert in that she has no independent power to do anything. She is empowered to make the cosmic manifestation by the glance of Mahavishnu. Therefore, the material energy is not the original cause of the material manifestation. Rather, the transcendental glance of Mahavishnu over material nature produces that cosmic manifestation. Mahavishnu again enters every universe as the reservoir of all living entities, Garbhodakashayi Vishnu. From Garbhodakashayi Vishnu expands Shirodakashayi Vishnu, the supersoul of every living entity. Garbhodakshai Vishnu also has his own Vaikundha planet in every universe where he lives as the super soul or supreme controller of the universe. Garbhodakshai Vishnu reclines in the midst of the watery portion of the universe and generates the first living creature of the universe, Brahma. The imaginary uh, universal form is a partial manifestation of Garbhodakshai Vishnu. On the Vaikuntha planet, in every universe is an ocean of milk, and within that ocean is an island called Shredded Weep, where Lord Vishnu lives. Therefore, this chapter describes two Shredded Veeps, one in the abode of, of Krishna and the other in the ocean of milk in every universe. The Shredded Veep in the abode of Krishna is identical with Vrindabandam, which is the place where Krishna appears himself to display his loving pastimes. In this Vedadeep within every universe is a Sesha form of Godhead who serves Vishnu by assuming the form of his umbrella, slippers, couch, pillows, garments, residence, sacred thread, throne, and so on. Lord Baladeva and Krishna Loka is Nityananda Prabhu. Therefore, Nityananda Prabhu is the original Shankarshan, and Maha Shankarshan and his expansions as the Purushas in the universes are plenary expansions of Nityananda Prabhu. In this chapter, the author has described the history of his leaving home for a personal pilgrimage to Vrindavan and his achieving all success there. In this description, it is revealed that the author's original paternal home and birthplace were in the district of Katwa, in the village of Jamatpur, which is near Naihati. Uh, Krishnadas Kaviraj's brother invited Sri Meenaketan Ramdas, a great devotee of Lord Nityananda, to his home, but a priest named Gunarnava Mishra did not receive him well, and Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami's brother, not recognizing the glories of Lord Nityananda, also took sides with the priest. Therefore, Ramadas became this. Uh, Minaketan Ramdas. Therefore, Ramadas became sorry, broke his flute, and went away. This was a great disaster for the brother of Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami. But on that very night, Lord Nityananda Prabhu himself graced Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami in a dream and ordered him to leave on the next day for Vrindavan. Bande Nantad Bhutaishvaryam Shri Nityanandam Ishvaram Yas Yechaya Tatsvarupam Agenapi Nirupyate. Let me offer my obeisances to Lord Shri Nityananda, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, whose opulence is wonderful and unlimited. By his will, even a fool can understand his identity. Jaya Jaya Sri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Dvaita Chandra Jaya Gorabhakta Vrinda All glories to Sri Nityananda All glories to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu All glories to Sri Nityananda Prabhu All glories to Sri Advaita Chari And all glories to all the devotees of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Eshat Shloke Kohila Krishna Chaitanya Mahima Pancha Shloke Kohe Nityananda Tattva Sima I have described the glory of Sri Krishna Chaitanya in six verses. Now in five verses I shall describe the glory of Lord Nityananda. 
Sarvabhattare Krishna Svayam Bhagavan Taharadrati Yadeho Sri Balaram The Supreme Personality of God at Krishna is the fountainhead of all incarnations. Lord Balaram is his second body. Lord Sri Krishna, the Absolute Personality of God, it is the primeval Lord, the original form of Godhead, and his first expansion is Sri Balaram. The Personality of God it can expand himself in innumerable forms. The forms that have unlimited potency are called Shvamsa, and forms that have limited potencies, the living entities, are called Vibhinamsa. Ekayi swarup dohe bina matrakai Adyakaya Bhuha Krishna Lila Rasahai. These two are one in the same identity. They differ only in form. Lord Balram is the first bodily expansion of Krishna, and he assists in Lord Krishna's transcendental pastimes. Balaram is a svamsa, expansion of the Lord, and therefore there is no difference in potency between Krishna and Balaram. The only difference is in their bodily structure. As the first expansion of Godhead, Balram is the chief deity among the first quadruple forms, and he is the foremost assistant of Sri Krishna in his transcendental activities. Say Krishna Navadipe Sri Chaitanya Chandra, say Balaram Sange Sri Nityananda. That original Lord Krishna appeared in Nabadeep as Lord Chaitanya and Balaram appeared with him as Lord Nityananda. Sankarshana Karana Toya Shai Garboda Shai Cha Payodi Shai Seishas Cha Yashamsa Kala Sanityananda Kya Rama Shananam Mamastu May Sri Nityananda Ram be the object of my constant remembrance. Shankarshan Seshanaga and the Vishnus who lie on the Karana ocean, Garba ocean, and ocean of milk are his plenary portions and the portions of his plenary portions. Sri Swarup Damodar has recorded this verse in his diary to offer his respectful obeisances to Lord Nityananda Prabhu. This verse also appears as the seventh of the first fourteen verses of Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita. And verses Shankarshana Kananatoya Shai Garboda Shai Cha Payobdi Shai Seshas Chaya Shamsa Kalasa Nityanandakya Rama Sharanam Mastu Sri Balaram Gosai Mula Shankarshan Pancharupa Dori Koran Krishnera Seban Lord Balaram is the original Shankarshan. He assumes five other forms to serve Lord uh, Krishna. So, may Sri Nityananda Ram be the object of my constant remembrance, Shankarshana, Seshanaga, and the Vishnus, who lie on the Karana ocean, Garba ocean, and ocean of milk are his plenary portions and the portions of his plenary portions. And Sri Balaram Gosai, Mula Shankarshan, Pancharupa, Dori Koran, Krishnara Seban. Lord Balaram is the original Shankarshan. He assumes five other forms to serve Lord Krishna. Apane Koren Krishna Lila Rasahai, Shishti Lila Karyakori Dori Charikai. He himself helps in the pastimes of Lord Krishna, and he does the work of creation in four other forms. Shristianika Seva Tara Agyara Palan Sesha Rupe Kore Krishna Bibida Sevan He executes the orders of Lord Krishna in the work of creation in the form and in the form of Lord Sesha he serves Krishna in various ways. According to expert opinion, Balaram is the chief of the original quadruple forms. Balaram, as the chief of the original quadruple forms, is also the original Shankarshan. Balaram, the first expansion of Krishna, expands himself in five forms. One, Mahashankarshan. Two, Kananabdishayi. That's Kananabdishayi, uh, or Mahavishnu. Garbodakshayi. Garbodakshai Vishnu, 
and Shirodakshayi, and five Seisha. So the five are one Mahashankarshan, Karanabdishayi, um, or Mahavishnu, Garbodakashayi, or Garbodakshayi Vishnu, pardon me, Mahashankarshan one, Karanabdishayi two, three, Garbodakshayi, four, Shirodakshayi, and five, Seisha. These five plenary portions are responsible for both the spiritual and material cosmic manifestations. In these five forms, Lord Balaram assists Lord Krishna in his activities. The first four of these forms are responsible for the cosmic manifestations, whereas Seisha is responsible for personal service to the Lord. Seisha is called Ananta, or unlimited, because he assists the personality of Godhead in his unlimited expansions by performing an unlimited variety of services. Sri Balaram is the servitor Godhead who serves Lord Krishna in all affairs of existence and knowledge. <clears throat> Lord Nityananda Prabhu, who is the same servitor Godhead, Balaram performs the same service to Lord Goranga by constant association. Lord Nityananda Prabhu is the same servitor of Godhead Balaram, performs the same service to Lord Goranga by constant association. And it's the same as Sri Balaram. Sarvarupi Ashwadaye Krishna Sevananda Sri Balarama Gora Sanginityananda in all the forms he tastes the transcendental bliss of serving Krishna, the same Balaram as Lord Nityananda, the companion of Lord Gorasundar. Saptama Shloke Rarta Korechari Shloke Jati Nityananda Tattva Jane Sarvaloke. I have explained the seventh verse in four subsequent verses. By these verses, all the world can know the truth about Lord Nityananda. Maya Tite Vyapi Vaikuntaloke Purnaishvar Ye Shri Chatur Vyuhamadye Rupam Yashod Bhati Sankarshanakyam Tam Shri Nityananda Ramam Prapadye I surrender unto the lotus feet of Shri Nityananda Ram, who is known as Shankarshan in the midst of the Chatur Vyuha consisting of Vasudeva, Shankarshan, Pradyumna, and Aniruddha. He possesses full opulences and resides in Vaikuntha Loka, far beyond the material creation. This is a verse from Sri Swarup Damodar Goswami's diary. It appears as the eighth of the first 14 verses of Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita. Prakritir para para bhyama nami dam Krishna vigraha jayche vibhuti ani gunavan Beyond the material nature lies the realm known as para the spiritual sky. Like Lord Krishna himself, it possesses all transcendental attributes, such as the six opulences. <coughs> Beyond the material nature lies the realm known as Paravyoma, the spiritual sky. Like Lord Krishna himself, it possesses all transcendental attributes, such as the six opulences. According to Shankya philosophy, the material cosmos is composed of 24 elements, the five gross material elements, the three subtle material elements, the five knowledge-acquiring senses, the five active senses, the five objects of sense pleasure, and the mahatattva, the total material energy. Empiric philosophers unable to go beyond these elements speculate that anything beyond them must be avyakta or uh, inexplicable. But the, word, but the world beyond the 24 elements is not inexplicable 
for it is explained in the Bhagavad Gita as the eter eternal sanata nature. Beyond the manifested and unmanifested existence of material nature, vyakta vyakta, vyakta vyakta is the sanata nature, which is called the paravyoma or the spiritual sky. Since that nature is spiritual in quality, there are no qualitative differences there. Everything there is spiritual, everything is good, and everything possesses the spiritual form of Sri Krishna himself. That spiritual sky is the manifested and eternal potency. That, manifest, that spiritual sky is the manifested internal potency of Sri Krishna. It is distinct from the material sky manifested by his external potency. The all-pervading Brahman, composed of the impersonal glowing rays of Sri Krishna, exists in the spiritual world with the Vaikuntha plan planets. We can get some idea of the spiritual sky by a comparison to the material sky, for the rays of the sun in the material sky can be compared to the Brahma Jyoti, the glowing rays of the personality of Godhead. In the Brahma, Jy Brahma Jyoti, there are unlimited Vaikuntha planets, which are spiritual and therefore self-luminous, with a glow many times greater than that of the sun. The personality of God at Sri Krishna his innumerable uh, personality of God at Sri Krishna his innumerable plenary portions and the portions of his plenary portions dominate each Vaikuntha planet in the highest region of this spiritual sky is the planet called Krishna Loka which has three divisions namely Dwarka Mathura and Goloka or Gokula To a gross materialist, this kingdom of God, Vaikuntha, is certainly a mystery. But to an ignorant man, everything is a mystery for want of sufficient knowledge. The kingdom of God is not a myth. Even the material planets which float over our heads in the millions, in the millions and billions are still a mystery to the ignorant. Material scientists are now attempting to penetrate this mystery and a day may come when the people of this earth will be able to travel in outer space and see the variegatedness of these millions of planets with their own eyes. In every planet, there is as much material variegatedness as we find in our own planet. This planet Earth is but an insignificant spot in the cosmic structure, yet foolish men pulled up by a false sense of scientific advancement have concentrated their energy in the pursuit of so-called economic development on this planet not knowing of the variegated economic facilities available on other planets according to modern astronomy the gravity of the moon is different from that of the earth of the earth therefore one who goes to the moon will be able to pick up large weights and jump vast distances. In the, Ram, in the Ramayan, Hanuman is described as being able to lift huge weights as heavy as hills and jump over the ocean. Modern astronomy has confirmed that this is indeed possible. The disease of the modern civilized man is his disbelief of everything in, this, in the revealed scriptures. Faithless non-believers cannot make progress in spiritual realization, for they cannot understand the spiritual potency. The small fruit of a banyan contains hundreds of seeds, and in each seed is the potency to produce another banyan tree, with the potency to produce millions more of such fruits. This law of nature is visible before us, although how it works is beyond our understanding. This is but an insignificant example of the potency of God. There are many similar phenomena that no scientist can explain. Everything, <clears throat> everything in fact, is inconceivable, for the truth is revealed only to the proper persons. 
Although there are varieties of personalities from Brahma down to the insignificant ant, all of whom are living beings, their development of knowledge is different. Therefore, we have to gather knowledge from the right source. Indeed, in reality, we can get knowledge only from the Vedic sources. The four Vedas, with their supplementary Puranas, the Mahabharata, the Ramayana, and their corollaries, which are known as Smritis, are all authorized sources of knowledge. If we are at all to gather knowledge, we must gather it from these sources without hesitation. Revealed knowledge may in the beginning be unbelievable because of our paradoxical desire to verify everything with our tiny brains. But the speculative means of attaining knowledge is always imperfect. The perfect knowledge is propounded in the revealed scriptures is confirmed by the great Acharyas who have left ample comment commentations upon them. None of these Acharyas has disbelieved in the Shastras. One who disbelieves in the Shastras is an atheist, and we should not consult an atheist, however great he may be. A staunch believer in the Shastras, with all their diversities, is the right person from whom to gather real knowledge. Such knowledge may seem inconceivable in the beginning, but when put forward, by the proper authority, its meaning is revealed, and then one no longer has any doubts about it. Sarvaga ananda vibhu vaikuntaridam Krishna Krishna avatare tahai vishram That vaikunta region is all-pervading, infinite, and supreme. It is the resonance of Lord Krishna and all his inc and his incarnations. Vaikuntha region is the all-pervading infinite. The Vaikuntha region is all-pervading infinite and supreme. It is the residence of Lord Krishna and his incarnations. Taharu pari bhage Krishna loka kyati dwaraka matura gokula tri bidat vestiti. In the highest region of the spiritual sky. It's the spiritual planet called Krishna Loka. It has three divisions, Dwarka, Mathura, and Gokula. Sarvopari, Sri Gokula, Braja Loka Dham, Sri Goloka, Sredadvipa, Vrindavana Nam. Sri Gokula, the highest of all, is also called Braja, Goloka, Sredadvipa, and Vrindavan. Sri Gokula, the highest of all, is also called Braja, Goloka, Sredadvipa, and Vrindavan. Sarbhaga Ananta Bibu Krishna Tanusam Upari Ado Vyapi Jache Nahika Niyam. Like the transcendental body of Lord Krishna, Gokula is all pervading, infinite, and supreme. It expands both above and below without any restriction. Srila Jiva Goswami, the great authority and philosopher in the line of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, has discussed the abode of Krishna in his Krishna Sandarbha. In the Bhagavad Gita, the Lord refers to my abode. Srila Jiva Goswami, examining the nature of Krishna's abode, refers to the Skanda Purana, which states, Yayata Bhuvi Vartante Puryo Bhagavata Priya. Tastata Shanti Vaikunta Tatta Lilartam Adritaha. The abodes of Godhead in the material world, such as Dwarka, Mathura, and Gokula, are facsimiles representing the abodes of Godhead in the kingdom of God, Vaikunta Dham. The unlimited spiritual atmosphere of the Vaikunta Dham is far above and beyond the material cosmos. This is confirmed in the Svayambhuva Tantra, in a discussion between Lord Shiva and Parvati regarding the effect of chanting the mantra of 14 syllables. There it is stated, Nanakopa lota kirnam vaikuntam vyapakam smarit ara samyam gunanam cha prakriti sarvakaranam while chanting the mantra, one should always remember 
the spiritual world, which is very extensive and full of desire trees that can yield anything one desires. Below that Vaikuntha region is the potential material energy which causes the material manifestation. The places of the pastimes of Lord Krishna, such as Dwarka, Mathura, and Vrindavan, eternally and independently exist in Krishna Loka. They are the actual abodes of Lord Krishna, and there's no doubt that they are situated above the material cosmic manifestation. The abode known as Vrindavan or Gokula is also known as Goloka. The Brahma Samhita states that Gokula, the highest region of the kingdom of God, resembles a lotus flower with thousands of petals. The outer portion of that lotus-like planet is a square place known as Svetadvip. In the inner portion, of Gokula, there is an elaborate arrangement for Sri Krishna's resonance with his eternal associates, such as Nanda and Yashoda. That transcendental abode exists by the energy of Sri Baladev, who is the original whole of Sesha or Ananta. The Tantras also confirm this description by stating that the abode of Sri Ananta Dev, a plenary portion of Baladev, is called the Kingdom of God. Vrindavan Dham is the innermost abode within the quadrangular realm of Svetadvip, which lies outside of the boundary of Gokula Vrindavan. According to Jiva Goswami, Vaikuntha is also called Brahmaloka. The Narada Pancharatra, in a statement concerning the mystery of Vijay, describes Tatsarvo pari goloke tatra loko pari swayam viharet paramananda govinda tula nayaka. The predominator of the gopis, Govinda, the principal deity of Gokula, always enjoys himself in a place called Goloka, in the topmost part of the spiritual sky. From that authoritative evidence cited by, G by Jiva Goswami, we may conclude that Krishna Loka is the supreme planet in the spiritual sky which is far beyond the material cosmos. For the enjoyment of transcendental variety, the pastimes of Krishna there have three divisions, and these uh, pastimes are performed in the three abodes, Dwarka, Mathura, and Gokula. When Krishna descends to this universe, he enjoys the pastimes in places of the same name. These places on, on earth are non different from those original abodes where they have, are facsimiles of those original holy places in the transcendental world. There is good as Sri Krishna himself and are equally worshipable. Lord Chaitanya declared that Lord Krishna, who presents himself as the son of the king of Braja, is worshipable and that Vrindavan Dham is equally worshipable. Brahmande Prakasha Tara Krishnara Ijai Eka Iswarupa Tara Nahi Duigai. That abode is manifested within the material world by the will of Lord Krishna. It is identical to that original Gokula. They are not two different bodies. The above mentioned Dhams are movable by the omnipotent by the omnipotent will of Lord Krishna. No. When Sri Krishna appears on the face of the earth, he can also make his Dhammas his Dhammas appear without changing the original structure. One should not discriminate between the Dhammas on the, on the earth and those in the spiritual sky, thinking those on earth to be material and the original abodes to be spiritual. All of them are spiritual only for us who cannot experience anything beyond matter in our present condition state. Do the Dhammas and the Lord himself in his archa form, or deity form, in his archa form, appear before us resembling matter to give us the facility to see spirit with material eyes. 
In the beginning, this may be difficult for a neophyte to understand, but in due course, when one is advanced in devotional service, it will be easier and he will appreciate the Lord's presence in these tangible forms. Chintamani Bhumi Kalpa Brikka Mayadvan Charma Chakke Deke Tare Prapancherasam. The land there is touchstone, Chintamani, and the forest abound with desire trees. Material eyes see it as an ordinary place. By the grace of the Lord, his Dhammas and he himself. His, can be present simultaneously without losing their original importance. Only when one fully develops an, in affection and love of God at, can one see those dhammas in their original appearance. Sri Lanaratam Dasakura, great Acharya, in the preceptorial line of Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, has said for our benefit that one can perfectly see the dhammas only when one completely gives up the mentality of lording it over material nature. One's spiritual vision develops proportionally to one's giving up the debased mentality of unnecessarily enjoying matter. A diseased person who has become a diseased person who has become diseased because of a certain bad habit must be ready to follow the advice of the physician. And as a natural sequence, he must attempt to give up the cause of the disease. The patient cannot indulge in the bad habit and at the same time expect to be cured by the physician. Modern materialistic civilization, however, is maintaining a diseased atmosphere. The living being is a spiritual spark, as spiritual as the Lord himself. The only difference, in, the only difference is that the Lord is great and the living being is small. Qualitatively, they are one, but quantitatively, they are different. Therefore, since the living being, being is spiritual in constitution, he can be happy only in the spiritual sky, where there are unlimited spiritual spheres called vaikuntas. A spiritual being conditioned by a material body must therefore try to get rid of his disease instead of developing the cause of the disease. Foolish persons engrossed in their material assets are unnecessarily proud of being leaders of the people, but they ignore the spiritual value of man. Such illusion leaders make plans covering uh, any number of, of years, but they can hardly make humanity happy in a state conditioned by the threefold miseries inflicted by material nature. One cannot control the laws of nature by any amount of struggling. One must be at last, one must at last be subject to death, nature's ultimate law. Death, birth, old age, and illness are symptoms of the diseased condition of the living being. The highest aim of human life should therefore be to get free from these miseries and go back home, back to Godhead. Prema netri deki tara svarupa prakash gopa gopi sangi jaha krishna ravilas but with the eyes of love of godhead one can see its real identity as the place where lord krishna performs his pastimes with the cowherd boys and cowherd girls So the next verse, the purport is eight pages long. So I'm going to just read the verse now, and tomorrow I'll start reading those pages, because it'll take take quite a it'll take some time to read those eight pages of purports. But I'll start the class tomorrow, and I'll read those eight pages of purports. So the verse is from the 
uh, Brahma Samhita, the verse that we'll read the purport of Srila Prabhupada tomorrow is, Chintamani prakara sadmasu kaupa vriksha lakshavriteshu surabir abhipalayantam lakshmi sahasra shatasam brahma sevyamanam govinda madiparusham tamaham bhajami. I worship Govinda, the primeval lord, the first progenitor, who is tending cows, yielding all desires in abodes built with spiritual gems and surrounded by millions of purpose trees or desire trees. He is always served with great reverence and affection by hundreds and thousands of goddesses of fortune. So this verse from the Brahm, is from the Brahma Samhita. I worship Govinda, the primeval lord, the first progenitor who is tending cows, yielding all desires in abodes built with spiritual gems and surrounded by millions of purpose trees. He is always served with great reverence and affection by hundreds and thousands of goddesses of fortune. So that's where we'll begin tomorrow. Verse 22 of the fifth chapter, The Glories of Lord Nityananda Balaram. Okay. Are you ready? Almost. Hari Haraya Nama Krishna Jada Vaya Nama Nama Krishna Jada Vaya Nama Jada Vaya Mara Vaya Kesha Vaya Nama Jadavaya Madhavaya Keshavaya Nama Gopa Govinda Ram Shri Madhusudan Gopa Govinda Ram Shri Madhusudan Giridari Gopinatha Madhanamon Giridari Gopinatha Madhanamon Shri Chikanya Nityananda Shri Advaita Gararara Shiva Sari Gora Bhakta Vrinda Gararara Shiva Sari Gora Bhakta Vrinda Sai Rupa Zanatam Bhakta Raghunan Sai Rupa Zanatam Bhakta Raghunan Sri Jiva Gopala Bhakta Dasa Raghunan Sri Jiva Gopala Bhakta Dasa Ananda Bolo 
Hari Baja Bindavan. Anande Bolo Hari Baja Bindavan. Shri Guru, Shri Guru Vaishnava Pare Majai Yaman. Shri Guru Vaishnava Pare Shri Yaman. Shri Guru Vaishnava Pare Padma Goriyan. Shri Guru Vaishnava Pare Padma Goriyan. Hari Nam Sankirtana Kohe Naratamudas. Hari Nam Sankirtana Kohe Naratamudas. Shri Guru Vaishnava Pad Padma Goriyas Shri Guru Vaishnava Pad Padma Goriyas Hare Nam Sankirtana Kohe Narata Mudas Nam Sankirtana Kohe Narata Mudas Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Nikai Gora Hare Bo Hare Bo Hare Bo Hare Bo Nikai Gora Hare Bo Hare Bo Hare Bo Hare Bo Nikai Gora Hare Bo Hare Bo Hare Bo Hare Bo Nikai Gora Hare Bo Hare Bo Hare Bo Hare Bo Jai Saparikara Shishi Guru Guranga Gandharvika Giridari Shukhi Jai Jai Om Vishnu Pad Paramahansa Parabhajaka Chariyashta Tara Sadrashi Shimad Shila Bhakti Nirmala Charya Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnu Pad Paramahansa Parabhajaka Chariyashta Tara Sadrashi Shimad Shila Bhakti Sundar Govinda Dev Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnu Pad Paramahansa Parabhajaka Chariyashta Tara Sadrashi Shimad Srila Bhakti Rakak Srira Dev Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Bhagavan Srila Bhakti Sananda Saraswati Goswami Thakur Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnu Pad Srila Gaur Kishore Das Babaji Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnu Pad Srila Sat Srila Nanda Bhakti Benal Thakur Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnu Pad Vaishnava Sarvabhoma Srila Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj Ki Jai Rupanuga Guru Bhargava Ki Jai Namachari Srila Haridas Sakur Ki Jai Shri Rupa Sanatana Bhatta Raghuna Shri Jiva Gopal Bhatta Dasha Raghuna Shadgo Swami Prabhu Ki Jai Premsigo Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gananhar Shri Vasani Shri Kona Bhakta Vrinda Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnu Pad Vishvabharanya Srila Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj Prabhupada Ki Jai Srila Bhakti Kusha Mashram Maharaj Ki Jai Srila Bhakti Tilak Nerihamaraj Ki Jai Ganga Devi Ki Jai 
Tulasi Maharani ki jai, Bhakti Devi ki jai, Shri Vrindavan Dham ki jai, Shri Shri Radha Krishna Go Gobi Govardhan, Shyam Kuna Radha Kunda Kalindi Yamuna Ju ki jai, Shri Purushottam Vadam ki jai, uh, Baladev, Jagannath Baladev Subhadra Ju ki jai, Bhakti Vigna Vinashaya Shri Nishinga Dev ki jai, Bhakta Prabhada Shri Prahlad Maharaj ki jai, Samaveda Bhakta Vrinda ki jai, Shri Harinam Sankirtan ki jai. Uh-huh. All the assembled devotees ki jai. Gaur Brahmanande Hari Hari Bo. Hari Bo. Shri Janardin Maharaj ki jai. Yeah.